Today we're going to take a question from the DMs. Brandy wanted to know the difference between a corpectomy and a discectomy. And so we're going to be taking a look at this. So an ACC is an anterior cervical corpectomy. That's going to be something, and all anterior means is they're going to come at it from the front here. And the corpectomy part of this is where they're going to basically remove the vertebral body. So we're going to jump to this big model here. And why I say there's, uh, so there's not much difference. There's actually going to be a disectomy inside this procedure because they're gonna take this top portion and they're going to take this lower portion. And what they're going to do to this vertebral body is they're going to sever the bone right through here and basically leave just a little C shape back here because you can't compromise this. That's the spinal cord canal. So they're not gonna interfere with this, but they're gonna remove this vertebral body, the front part of that. And then uh, once you're left with this hollow, what they'll do, this is gonna stand in for a bone graft. They're actually gonna put bone back in here and then this is just the natural vertebral body that was there. And then there will be some hardware that goes on the front of this. So there will be screws and most likely a plate that bridges this gap. So this is the bone graft. And there'll be a plate that bridges this gra graft and there'll be a pair of screws here and a pair of screws here. And it will hold it together so that this space actually fuses and becomes solid. So here we're obviously looking at very large bones. Your procedure is going to be obviously in your cervical spine. That's part of that ACC. And so when we're looking up here, uh, you're talking about microsurgery. And so the, the, everything is smaller. They're gonna take this disc and they're gonna do some modifications, this disc and this disc, and they're just gonna do some modifications to that vertebral body here, that's where that fusion is going to be between these two places. So a little bit of anatomical advice, make sure you do your physical therapy, listen to all the instructions, ask lots and lots of questions. And if you are a smoker or use any kind of nicotine, make sure you give that up 100% while you're healing because it interferes with bone growth. As always, thank you for learning with me. And if you have a question, you know what to do.